Hello everybody, my name is Mark Angelo and today we are considering playing Horizon. Now in the last episode, we did quite a few things. We helped a prince escape his kingdom. Um, we helped find a missing girl and her boyfriend. Let's see, we also helped a lady with a thief problem. We figured out who it was. And then lastly, we helped a sick girl by giving some dude the heart of a, like a red mole, I think, or something like that. But anyways, in this episode, we're gonna do a couple more missions. And I'm already here. There's two side missions here for me to collect. So I'm gonna collect these really quick and then do these also. So let's talk to this person. Mayor Song Echo. Sounds like you have friends in danger. Wait. You're the Nora who saved the Sun King's life. I must be living in the light if you're taking an interest in me. Some of my employees are in danger. They're on their way to trade with the Banuk along a trail that swarms with machines. I made sure they were well stocked with explosive arrows, but by the sun, they left them behind. Mm. What sort of machines swarm the caravan's trail? Scrappers and long legs, from what I hear. Not too bad. There have been stories of something worse. Ooh. Something that strikes with no warning. Without explosive arrows, they won't stand much of a chance. Why would they leave their best ammunition behind? I don't know. Mazavid, the caravan boss, isn't the sort of man to make mistakes. I brought the crate, hoping to catch them here. But for me to track them deeper into the wilds, that would be suicide. Hmm. If I come across the caravan, I'll do what I can to help. I'm honored that you're taking the time to help me. The Kaja are in your debt, and that goes double for me. Here, take the ammunition I stockpiled for the caravan. You're sure to need it. And may the sun shine upon you. Alright, cool. Oh, I gained one explosive arrow. Anyways, let's go talk to this other person. I like this armor piece. Name's Jira. I run this fine watering hole. I like what you've done with the place. Something troubling you, Jira? When the Karja Fort opened, I got word that my husband had come looking for me. But only the word made it to the fort. He didn't. You have a husband? Kander. Beat him in an arm wrestling match. I left him behind when I left the claim. Jesus. Some metal sellers passed him at the bridge near the glare break. Seeing as you drift on the wind, little spark. If I'm out that way, I'll look for him. But do you want him to find you, Jira? Ever have those mornings when you wake up without all the answers? Still, I'll be heading up to the fort to resupply. Luck on your travels. I'd like okay. to share a drink with Aaron. So we're gonna go help the guy in his caravan. So let me go figure out where that's at and I'll be right back. Boom. Okay, so I'm close to oh, where the caravan's at. You Who's there! Like, I hope you've come to help. Because we're getting slaughtered out here. Yep. Lubavad sent me after you. By the sun. I know you. He hired the Nora who saved the Sun King to come after us? Must be trying to make up for his mistake. He packed us a crate marked ammunition, but it was full of Ridgewood. Three waves of watchers so far, and we're almost helpless. Hmm. Lubavad didn't say anything about Ridgewood. He said you left the ammunition behind. Then the old fool has gone cross-eyed. Every crate we loaded, I checked twice. The glyph said ammunition, but when we opened it, it was full of Ridgewood shafts and nothing but. Hmm. Lubavad sent me because he was concerned for your safety. The only thing that frightens Lubavad is losing an investment. We do the work, he counts profits. I have the ammunition with me. Enough for everyone. By the sun. We might just stand a chance after all. You only gave me an arrow. Arms! Long leg approaching! <laughs> oh, there he is. Two arms! Two arms! So they will. Oh, what? Alright, so let's. We'll use this weapon. <laughs> Buddy, move out of the way, please. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Alright, so we stunned it. We're gonna crate strike it. Well, that didn't do much to me then. You fight well, Outlander. I'm surprised Lubavard was willing to pay for someone of your skill. He didn't pay me, actually. I did this for free. Oh, yeah. Never trust the Karja merchant. <laughs> Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Quick learner, Ooh. eh? Fine. Bring those song cores back and you've got a deal. Song cores? Don't push my luck, stranger. But Dorit gets further away every second. Calm down, buddy. Alright, so... I guess I gotta look for his footprints, right? Yeah, this way. Okay, so let me follow these tracks. Okay, so it wasn't too far. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hello, Dorit. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one you sabotaged. You figured no explosive arrows meant no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Wow. Okay, buddy. What was their weakness again? Oh, yes. Yeah, really was shocked. Alright, so he's shot. I'm gonna try to strike him. Knock him over. Trick strike again. Put two arrows. And one. And we still got everything else. Man, that sucks for that guy. Just get bopped in the face like that. Oh, he's still alive. I thought he died. The caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away m my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. <laughs> okay. So let me return this stuff back to them. I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> made it back. You're back, and with the Suncors, I see. And Dorid? A uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. Alright, so that wasn't too hard. Surprised that there was even a stalker this far out here. They're usually not into like the desert kind of area, the jungle area, or the jungle area, which is far away from here. Anyways, let me find the next mission to do. Boom. Okay, so the next mission is to Old Acquaintance. Go to the bridge near Blair Break, which is not too far from here, about 80 meters away. 
So we're just gonna run there really quick. Oh, there's another side mission to collect. Um, where are you here? Jira mentioned. Now to see if I can find his tracks. We're gonna collect this side mission really quick, and then follow the dude's tracks. Find help. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindhorks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay. Did he just collapse? Oh my god, he just died. Um, we're gonna follow this. I how many people passed this way. But this was a man with a cart, so... Which way do I follow exactly? This way? Alright, so we're following tracks. And I think it's this way, yeah. I'll be right back. This guy is pretty messy. This scent reminds me of... Yes, Aaron's breath. That's also happening. Did it roll down a hill? So... Hmm. I don't want to start a fight with any of these. So I'm going to put on my stealth suit really quick. Oh, there's a dude up here. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? What's up? <laughs> Am I glad to see you, stranger? Are you Kendert? I'm a friend of Jira's. Huh? Well, I'm a husband of Jira's. She heard you'd gone missing. I tracked you. What happened? I was coming to join her. A sandstorm blew in, I sought shelter. It didn't work out. And here I am getting red as a Karja priest, my goods <laughs> scattered in a herd of tramplers. There's only so much you can do to make me look less of an idiot. But could you get back my scrapper sap? That would be the stuff down there with the herd of tramplers? Oh my gosh. I'm not proud, I'm just a brewer, and... Maybe five bottles of that is worth more than I am to Jira. Oh man, recover scrapper, scrapper sap bottles. Um, uh, I don't want to do most of the fighting, and I can override these. Yeah, I can. So I'm gonna override. Mm, that's a lot. I know. I know. If I override these, those big boys over there won't be we'll fighting. So I might have to override two of these. So yes, yeah, that's, that's gonna be my plan. So override this one. I'm gonna override this one, the rest are gonna figure it out. And they're gonna start they're gonna start fighting. So let's get over here in the distance.
right, so there you go. We got one of these bottles. What is this? Another bottle? Come on, the bottle's right there. Is that a bottle there? Yeah, I think it is. Yep. All right, so we need one more bottle. I can already hear the uh, vultures coming in. Let's search these really quick. Find the last bottle. So let me search the other bodies, and then I'll be right back to Kendar. Okay, so I'm done collecting this stuff. Made my way back to Kendar. Let's talk Huntress. to Kendar. Thank you. Asaram's right. finest, this stuff. Kinder. Keeps you warm in a snowstorm. Strips the grit out of a gear wheel. Kendert, why did you set out so unprepared? Hammer to steel of the matter is. I did it for love. <laughs> of course. Jira said she wanted to leave the claim. I consulted with the Ildermen. I won't repeat what they said. You won't like it. You've got me curious. No. I've already dug myself a hole deep enough to swallow a thunder jaw. It was my mistake not going with her. I've had time enough to see that. Maybe it's not too late. You'll find her stocking up at Day Tower. Good luck. All right, so the next mission we're going to do is we're going to go fulfill that last man's wish. Go help his, I think it was brother? Because Glenhawks were attacking him or something like that? So yeah, let me figure out where that's at. I'll be right back. Okay, actually, we're not done with this mission we have to still return to Gera. So we're gonna return to Gera and then we'll head back over here and help the dude that's getting attacked by Glen Hawks. So I'll be right back. Alright so we're here and Gera should be close by I believe. Yeah there she is. Little Spark. Any sign of that man? I found him Jira. I think you two will have a lot to talk about. I like a good story. <laughs> And a good drink. It's why I'm good at what I do. He's bringing you both. Kandert wants to be with you. He regrets that he took the word of the... Elderman? Women know their place in the claim, was their word. It's the Karja's son that bakes their brains and gives them such thoughts. That's... The tribe. He can't bear a grudge. It'd make you go mad. My silly man. Little Spark. <laughs> How can I thank you? There'll always be a drink for you at Hunter's Gathering. Thank you. All right, so now let's go help the dude that is being attacked by Glenhawks. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it as soon as we fast travel here. So I just fast traveled here, didn't even get to like, do anything. Soon as I got here, we were fighting. Let's, let's go find out who's in charge. Once I can actually jump around and stuff, not fall anymore. Get up there? What's that? Dang. Unknown device. We're exhausted. It's the third flock we face today. The heck is that? What is that? Oh, it's a beacon. Some. That's why the Glen Hawks are coming over here. All right, so figured out their problem already without even having to talk to anybody here. But uh. I need to find the leader of Pitchcliff, but he's up here. How do I get up there then? I'll just 
Duh, there was a ladder. Okay, I'm just dumb. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where'd you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! He's dead. <laughs> what? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother! Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glinthawks? Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Asaram use our scrap, not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the hmm. Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Okay, buddy. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glinthawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glinthawks? If I ever get a break from him, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. Um, I think I already figured out your problem. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hawks to flock off. <laughs> You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bum. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Man, he really doesn't like his brother, does why he? Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? Oh, yeah. You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A carriage is behind all this. Mm, not so sure. I'm pretty sure I already know what your problem is. I already saw it in the back over here, behind your house. Turn off! Turn off! Hmm. Hey, what's up, buddy? What you doing here? Um, what are you doing? By the <laughs> sun! It won't turn off! That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Oh. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <sighs> well, that should do it. Now start talking. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. Hmm. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? <laughs> Abandoned equipment, the likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. 
Okay, buddy. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glintox? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. Hmm. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't oh. reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. <laughs> All right, so we have to figure out where this workshop is and see if that's the last one of those devices. So I'll be right back once I get there. Okay, so I'm here and I can see what he kind of means by avalanche, I guess. Kind of crushed down here. Um, mm, let's see. This path is obviously broken down, so I'm gonna have to go. Oh man. <laughs> kind of scared me there for a second. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to climb this mountain and go across, so this is gonna take a while. For me, though. Alright, so I finally went across. There's a supply crate here. Um, where to now? Up there? Okay, so, I guess we're going to be climbing this rocky mountain now. Alright, so, it should be just about up here. Yeah, there we go. And it's farther away. much I can't handle. I can override this one so it won't attack me. Or we can just continue walking on right past him. Yeah, he got alerted by the other fight that's going on up there. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Oh, there's a storm bird. I don't want to fight a storm bird. Those are so annoying. There, allure. All right, so there's three lures. That one's like right in the open. How do I? How do I even get to that? Oh. Where is he going? Right above me. This might take a while. Boom. Boom. Done. No Bye. more lures. Now we've got this workshop. Okay, so the bird's gone. Now let's investigate this workshop here. What is this? Notes? Sir Durval was behind these lures. Brilliant. And dangerous. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. Ooh, so he had notes on how to make them and stuff. Alright, so I have to make my way back to Pitchcliff. That's pretty far, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I made my way back to Pishka. 
Now we have to tell the alert. Right? The alert. I think so. Anyways. Here he is. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. <laughs> How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliff and my family, I thank you. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let me look for another mission really quick. All right, so I'm here in a different area. There's plenty of work. And there's a side mission here for us to pick up, so I'm gonna pick that up really quick and then complete it also. Because there's not another one nearby. Petra. <laughs> well, well. Always tell Durval a woman would undo him, and he had it coming. <laughs> I've calluses older than you. I have calluses enough if you want to test me. <laughs> <laughs> she sparks. I believe it, flame hair. Petra Forge woman. Uh, flame hair. Aloy. <laughs> machine hunter. Mmm, machine hunter, eh? Huh. I could have a use for you. All right. Straight of it is, we're being muscled out of our own claim. That's why I've been working on this scrap spitting beast. It's a dispute settler. Hmm. What is this place, Petra? The Free Heap. Free because we answer to no one but ourselves, the metal, and the dust storms. Oh. And the heaps back there. A scrapyard piled by Osram past from the leavings of the old ones. Breathe it in. Get the smell in you. Smoke. And sweat. <laughs> Living in the trees has dulled your senses. I can taste five metals just in my spit. So all this scrap was left by the ancients. I don't think that's... Was it a battlefield? Really mm, a good thing. Stockpile, maybe, or a rubbish heap. Packed so tight it all fused together. Those old ones tossed away more than we'll ever know. But don't you want to know? To understand what it all meant? Nah. Some delvers spend their whole lives trying to make sense of it. Not me. What it means is there's good smelting here. Yeah, don't need to understand a forest to chop down the trees for your arrows. If you hmm. did, you'd know Ridgewood makes better shafts. <laughs> Careful, you'll scald your tongue with that fire. I don't pine for the old ones. They had their time. Their works are finished. All their inventions are under mountains now, rust on bones. My sisters and brothers of the Forge will make a new world. Okay. So you're a Forge woman. You run the Forge and the town too. The town is the Forge, and everyone pulls their weight. The right way to do it, without all the Eeldermen having their say. If we were back in the claim, Osram land, three days argument any time someone wants to hammer in a bolt. Sounds infuriating. Oh, it is. But we like arguing. You need hot <laughs> air to keep a furnace burning. Still, some traditions aren't up for debate. I would have ended up Petra Forge wife. <laughs> How do you like the sound of that? No. <laughs> I don't think it fits you. Good answer. That's why I left. I was steel young from the forge then. I could make anything of myself before I'd cooled in my ways. So you left your homeland and came here? Went to Meridian. Everyone does. Joined the work gangs on the Great Elevator. We finished just as the Mad King got a taste for blood. So I mm. spat and swore I'd find a place for everyone who stuck with me. We lived job to job until the war ended. Then we came upon this old Osirum camp. Long abandoned, metal piled up high. A place to start again. A place mm. to leave my mark. <laughs> when I was your age, I thought the lasting mark came from the hardest strike. I suppose you know better now that you're an elder. <laughs> Trade secret. <laughs> this weapon you're working on, I've never seen anything like it. Your design? Mm. See my face in it, can you? This one's mother helped reclaim Meridian back in the day. A job like that isn't done with strategy. They needed to shake the walls, turn the mad Sun King's army to blood and feathers. What's that face for? Weapons with such power. It's not the weapon, Flame Hair, it's the wielder. If that siege had touched the Great Elevator, they'd have answered to me. Mm. Good work, that elevator. Story in every chain link. I'll make you suffer them one day if you like. 
<laughs> this beast doesn't have a story yet. Too heavy to carry, eats metal like a snap maw. You said you're being pushed out of your territory. Out of the junk heap. A pack of scrappers came snuffling in just after we opened a good SEMA weapon parts. Oh. And now we've got a standoff with a gang of bandits at our foundry. They blockaded us out. They're sitting on our power cells. Guess they like shiny things. Well, to finish up our defenses, I need those parts and cells. In and out job. Keep your hands clean. All right. I'm not afraid of getting them dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a blast of air from the bellows? I like this chick, she's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's go fight these bad guys for her, I'm guessing. Let me figure out where they are and I'll be right back. Alright, so they're not too far. Uh, I can't really fast travel over there, so I'm gonna have to like run my way over there. So yeah, I'll be right back. If I had right of rule, I'd have taken the town first. More slaves for digging up lightning boxes. Then make your claim for it when the others get here. Won't be long now. Okay, so there's scrappers over here. And then there's people down over here. Damn, that's sick. Hey, I actually landed a good one for the first time. Alright, so... Before we kill that guy... To make sure nobody else is gonna really see... Alright, so he landed in the grass. We're pretty good. Nobody's gonna see his dead body there. Another dude right there, another one up there, another one right there. Alright, so not too many bad guys here. Can we hit that guy from here? I don't think we can. I'm not gonna take the shot. Um, another one over there. Another dude high on the mountain. Let's take out this guy on the bottom. <sighs> Bandits have a good defense. Better spot all their sentries before I look for the power cells. Yeah, so I'm gonna take everybody as silently as possible. Spot it! <sighs> Alright. So everybody's curious Peter. now. I don't think we can hit that guy from this far with that arrow. No way we're hitting that dude in the mountain with that arrow. Alright, so. Oh, there's a dude way the heck over there. I must always said, patience. Where you at, big boy? Stop hiding. So those people are dead. Move along now. This is going pretty well, if you ask me. Look at that climber go! Chaps. All right, so my plan there was to jump above them and do like a silent strike, but that didn't turn out so well. Anyways, we already killed everybody that we had to kill. There, a power cell. One power cell. Two power cell. Three okay, power done. cell. 
Now yeah, to get we... into the scrapper's run and find those weapon parts. Oh, we're not done. Okay. Um, yeah. You'll get yours when the clan blows in. Town's good as torched. Who the heck is that? What? Alright, so anyways, let's go look for the weapon parts. Go to the scrapper den. Okay, so I'm here at the scrapper's den. There's a bunch of scrappers here, I can tell you that much. I don't see anybody here else. Just a bunch of scrappers. So I'm gonna see if I can override one scrapper so they'll fight all of them. Or try to fight most of them for me. Um, this one's kind of spotting me already. I'm gonna jump out of the way. Oh no. Um, Lots of scrappers prowling. Hope they haven't struck the parts already. Hello, big boy. Please don't notice me. Oh man. This such, they're in such a pattern. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly cut it to where I'm already overriding one. All right, so we got one of them. Had to use a rush to get him out of his little pathway. Pick up my rock. Hopefully that one doesn't notice me. Damn, he wrecked me. Alright, so we're gonna get this one, override this one also. Alright, so we have two overridden, so that should be good. Let me find something Petra can use. Alright, I got Fast. one weapon spar. There's a lot more scrappers back here. I'm gonna see if I can get these scrappers to come back here this way so they can fight my scrappers. Alright, so that should alert my scrappers. Heard it. Oh, that one's already gone. Come here, big boy. What the? Right between the legs. Alright, so my scrappers should be fighting their scrappers. Alright, slide, silent strike. That was sweet. Alright. We got three weapon parts. We need one more. It's probably on the other side over here. Alright. They killed them all for me. See what I mean? They do all the work for me. Good dogs. They're like dogs. Right? Am I the only one that thinks that? Okay. Back to Petra. Alright, we got all the weapon parts. Now I'm gonna make my way back to Petra and give her her parts. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm here. Petra's right above me. Here we are. Petra, I have the parts you wanted, but there are more bandits coming. The rest of their clan. They want to take the town. Ooh. Do they now? Hold this thing steady while I give it a voice. Then we'll let it talk terms for us. Oh, she's gonna pull up the now big gun. Now take it up and brace yourself. Don't press it against your hips if you ever want to use those for. All right, all right, I got it. <laughs> Damn! What oh, the... It's heavy. Oh, well, I can do to hold it up. I'll let you get ammo from a nearby pile. Come Release on, then, Archie. if you're coming. Run this forge dirt town, red boys. <laughs> Manners. What? Hey, big boys. Give me some more. Heck yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Load me up, Doc. Where you at, big boy? Bob. She's working well so far. We're loading some more balls. 
Uh oh, on this side. Wow, not anymore. I so want one of these. This is so cool. Reload. No complaints about the gunner. Reload, reload. Bob. Come on, give me some more balls. I like to use more, but yeah. Bob. This is an amazing gun, baby. Jesus. Out of ammo, reload. Do it Wait, do I have to look at this thing? I don't. It just sucks up by itself. It just sucks by itself. That's Anyone cool. but a bandit clan would pull back now. Come on, you bungheads! They only have one cannon! Oh, there's more. Oh no, reload. They didn't really find me. Hey, there's more. Oh, he's still alive. Wait, there's too many of you on this side. We need to focus on one guy over here. Get this boy, I need you to die. Get this boy. Bye. You wanna shoot arrows at me? Here, take some balls. You got some balls in your face? Here you go, sir. I miss this completely. There you go, one right in his face. They're gathering under the bridge, Aloy. Bring it down on them. What? It's your bridge. The bridge is come and go. Shoot it down. All right, if you say so, madam. Well, I shoot it down. It's not going down. Go down, bridge. Oh, boy. Whoa! There you go. Might have overdone it a little. Oh. Now I'm no soldier, but I saw that out. This gun is sick, lady. You are a crazy sick person, you know that? Well. Okay. <laughs> oh. My teeth hurt from all that. That's interesting. Need a leather strap to bite down on, perhaps. We'll give those wretches a sky burial. That's fancy talk for leaving them out for the birds. <laughs> More than they'd have done for us if this thing didn't work. Uh, if it didn't work, it could have not worked. It isn't finished. It That's lost why we're hips. testing it. Now, now, you had your Nora toys to fight with. Saying goes, you can only trust metal. But my trust was placed well in you. Your old Aloy machine hunter. I won't forget it. <sighs> Neither will I, Petra. Whoa. <laughs> Still feel the lightning snap in my hair. All right. That was sick. There's another side mission that popped up here, so I'm gonna go collect that and see what's up. Are you looking for something? Can't see hide nor hair of my friends. They went after a herd of behemoths, and now they're overdue. Only seasoned hunters go after machines like that. Can't they handle themselves? It's not them I'm worried about. We need special cables from those behemoths to keep our cannons firing. If they miss the herd, Petra will hand me my hide. I never should have agreed to that trade. <laughs> what the heck is that noise? Water? What trade did you agree to? Petra assigned me and Balaja the task of getting cables from that herd. But Tor Greece and Balaja are meant for each other. Like hammer and steel. They just don't realize it. So I agreed to trade duties with him to, you know, hurry things along. Didn't Balaja wonder why? It was her idea. Now I'm worried it worked too well. If they're so busy snogging that they missed a herd, it'll be my skin on the line. Where did you last see them? Right here, before they left. Off they went, arguing the whole way. What were they arguing about? How best to follow the herd. Sure, Grease is good with a bow, but he could get lost in his own home. <laughs> what have I done? Why not explain what happened to Petra? If you want to tell Petra, be my guest. Maybe she'll blow her top at you and tire herself out before she gets to me. <sighs> okay, buddy. I would run off in search of them, but since George Grease took my place, I have his spot on guard duty. I can look for your friends. Where have they gone? 
They were headed to the arch northwest of here to watch for the herd. I hope they've found their way there. If we miss that herd, we won't be able to keep our cannons firing. I'll throw myself into this fire if I've risked our freedom. Let's keep that as a last resort. I'll do what I can. All right, so let's go find this herd that he's talking about, and I'll be right back. Perhaps wandering for hours. That's what I'm looking for. That's because I couldn't concentrate with you hammering on. Okay, so we're supposed to look for the hunters, <laughs> and obviously we can hear them arguing up here. So. But yeah, I just noticed that my webcam was used as recording my Fine. microphone volume for some reason, and I moved it barely to my mi microphone microphone. So we'll see how coming. that turns out in the editing and all that. But anyways. and Balaja? Caliph sent me to look for you. He did? Now Petra must know we lost the herd. No, I lost it. I don't care who lost it. Just why don't I track it down for you? I, I couldn't let you do that. It was my responsibility, not yours or his. We saw three behemoths and some shell walkers in the herd. It won't be easy alone. Hunting alone will be quieter. Let's work together. I think I'm going to do this. We'll do this alone. I can alone. sneak up on the herd better without conversation. <laughs> Arguing, you mean. I'll go with you alone. Jorgris can ask his incessant questions to the wind. Why did you even agree to the trade if you can't stand a minute of my presence? If you weren't... Enough! Jorgris, Baladia asked you to switch with Caliph so she could spend time with you. What? And if I heard right, Jorgris led you off course so he could spend more time talking with you. Uh, <laughs> really? Now, you talk it out while I get those behemoth cables. Where did you last see the herd? Oh, uh, up on that ridge. And take some arrows with you. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. So let's go look for this behemoth herd. Oh. Where is it at? Oh, it's not that far. I don't need a horse. I hear them now. Okay. Oh. Mm. Gather zero out of nine behemoth cables. Jesus, y'all are huge. I'm gonna use the share walkers in the back to do all the fighting for me. We'll see how that turns out. We're gonna get this one. And then, yeah, we'll just see how all this turns out. Okay, so Oh snap. He turned around real quick. What's your weakness? Weakness is terror. Because I know the other ones are already coming my way. So, uh, come on, come on, let's make this quick. Not sure what I'm supposed to be collecting here. So, they're gonna fight it out. What is this? Sparker? Not what I'm looking for. Well, they're gonna fight it out. Boulders are flying everywhere. Woo! This is not a good thing.
still not entirely sure what I'm searching for. Maybe I have to kill them and collect what's on their body. So let me check really quick. Okay, so yeah, I had to kill them. Okay. So I got three already. I got another three. And got the last three. Alright, so now we're gonna I'm gonna head back to uh, Petra and deliver his behemoth cable so he doesn't get in trouble. Okay, so I'm back and I'm not delivering it to the dude. Oh I guess I am. Okay, never mind. Here we are. You've got those behemoth cables, don't you? I knew you'd come through. And Jagri's and Baladia should be along. Eventually. Mm, Once we've they're been done expecting you talking. ever since they came back. Whatever you did, it worked. Now they're off snogging in the shed. Finally. <laughs> she put me on guard duty for a month, so I'm glad it was worth it. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. I see you survived their bickering. Uh, barely. I could say they struggle in love because they're young, but the old rarely fare better. Thank you, Aloy, <laughs> for enduring them. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. We did quite a lot. <laughs> and still have a lot more to go. I, I just enjoy playing this game. I hope you all enjoy watching too. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click on that bell for post notifications for every time that I upload a video. Thank you all, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.